okay so today we have um smash call so I'm going to take you through how smash call is being done with um, advanced GE software so today is the smash call so but basically the field of view during the scan should be 25 centimeters or less this will help in the diagnostic accuracy and that is how they have made the software if it's more than 25 centimeters field of view it will create a problem and it will not be able to give you a very good diagnostic accuracy so what we do is just smart score click on volume viewer then you go down so we have what we call the smart score calcium scoring so it says that this protocol allows the operation of calcium scoring calcium scoring should be done on non-enhanced examination so basically calcium scoring you don't give any contrast it's just non-contrast procedure that you do for the around the heart so we click on it so it's loading the calcium score software so it's telling me whether i'll use the previous one or this one because i've done it before let me just say no so we start afresh a patient is medium sized patient so this is the info everything you can skip some of them so when you come here it has highlighted it for you already but what you have to do is you go to diagnostic display you put them on two by two then auto lesion detect because it has even detected anything that has a higher hands free unit so it has auto detected it for you you can deactivate them so that you can do your own thing good so what we can do is so we go through the images one by one with this button so go through the one by one uh, through the one by one okay so here you can see the left main coronary artery you have the circumflex left circumflex artery going this way you have its marginal branch there then we have the left anterior descending going that way so left anterior descending is going so we're tracking it so here not sure so you just secure it if you see any kind of classification within the artery so it then catches so it's not any plug in there so we're we'll looking at it then we have the right perineal artery going that way and the left anterior descending going that way so it's okay it's if then you click you name the artery that is going okay mm -hmm. so it's here then this one is here then you have another one going here okay okay so let me go back since i've seen something so let me circle this one that is right when I actually so it's nothing no classifications in there so this is it so you go through all the arteries around the heart that are visible so from there you come to the report area so with this it generates 
the total score for you. That's why we didn't get any classification. So, and it has population distribution for cash flow scoring. So, per the age, where the patient ages, then we have the best score distribution. So, imagine we have gotten any score within it, have just distributed them here for us. So, let's go to the review for the reports. And it's using a calibration factor of 0.743. So when you go to preview, this is the, so this is the report. So it's automatically generated for you. So we have the total score to be zero. So it has a table. So if you have circled any of them, it have just generated everything for us. Yeah. So it uses the Agatine scores to do this one. Okay, so So thank you very much. So if you want to send it, you go to output, then you send it to who? You can save it on a drive, you can save it to CD, you can save it to the system, then you can generate physician report and everything. So if you want to print to this uh, printer connected to it, you can just print it from there. Yeah. Thank you very much. See you on the next video.